Next stage, a man looking for trouble. What can you see beyond the darkness? Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. It sound right, boy. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Hello, happy Wednesday. Welcome to the stream, welcome to me in a spooky dark room because I turned the lights off and left this light on in front of the camera. Hello. Stephen. Oh, sorry. Stephen, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I am doing okay, thank you very much. I hope you are doing well also. And um, I forgot about those alerts, didn't I? Oh, we can't hit, oh, do you know why? I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why. Because I muted the audio because you can't like turn Edith Finch off. Hold on, I'm just gonna have to turn. Bear with, bear with, bear with, bear with, bear with, bear with. Everyone, calm down. We're gonna just, I need to find my mouse. Okay, you should be able to hear Robot Lady now if you were to submit a thingy. Um, but yes, yeah, so welcome to the stream, everyone. Sorry I turned Robot Lady off. I got confused. <laughs> um, I hope everyone's having a good day. Um, bear with me. Indeed. Indeed. Um, yeah, welcome to another Wednesday stream. On this fine, frightening Wednesday, I turned the lights off in here. Because I thought it looked cool on Peter Street the other day, but I don't know if he's got some filter on, but his look lighter than mine. Mine just kind of looks like I'm being held hostage, like a ransom video kind of situation, but at least it's a jazzy ransom video. Like if I got kidnapped and this was the background, it's kind of alright, isn't it? It probably wouldn't be that bad of a kidnapping, you know? Just a, just a tiny kidnapping, just a low key one. So it'd be fine. Um, also, for some reason, the light is really aggressive for me today, and I keep looking at it when I'm looking at the camera and then not being able to read chat because I've got like a big white square in front of my eyes. Um, but yeah, welcome. We're gonna play some more Edith Finch today. So we've got finish Edith Finch. And then I was thinking, instead of starting a new game halfway through the stream, wouldn't it be fun to play some more Geo? Ah! Ah! 
also what? just wanted to say that since you've joined the channel, you've brought so much fun and joy to the channel. Oh, All of your streams and the other videos you've been on have been amazing. You're doing a fantastic job and keep up the amazing work. <laughs> Howdy Ashton oh. and Emma. Ready for more hilarious deaths. Wow, I hadn't heard that donation one before. Thank you, Mr. Black, for that £5.53 donation. I appreciate it very much. And Stephen, thank you so much for the 100 bits and the kind words. It means a lot. Thank you so much. No. No. Mm. Dark Boy Adshaw, thank you for resubscribing for one month. That's 23 months. Holy moly. That's almost two years. One more month, and that's two years. Hey, Ash and the gang, taking a break from the final year void to do the old resub. One month away for two years. Hope you're having, hope you're keeping well. Remember to look after yourselves. Indeed, remember to look after yourselves. It's very important. Make sure you're having enough water, enough food, enough sleep. And if you're staying up until 4 a.m. playing the video games, you're going to turn your eyes square. And that's not good for you. But I also have. Has someone moving furniture in the office? Someone is hoovering. Every Wednesday, every Wednesday, they hoover. And they have the whole day to hoover, or they can wait until half past five. They always start hoovering at exactly five o'clock when I start my stream. And if anything, it's the quietest part of the stream is when I'm doing the intro. So every time I listen to a thunderous hoover from above, every time but that's okay you know this is a very unique situation problem that i have in that they hoover too loud so when they're hoovering all the crumbs up from around my desk where i've been snaffling biscuits <coughs> hi ashton hope you're well hello looking forward to seeing this game hope you emma and all the walrus clan have a happy and healthy spooky season Jig my chicken, I agree. Happy and healthy spooky season is what we are after. That is the, the vibe. Um, it's good, we have, I think we're about two thirds of the way through. So once we finish Edith Finch today, I was kind of maybe starting a new game, but I've got a game that I want to play for next week, but I can't play it this week because it's embargoed at the moment. <laughs> new game, exciting, it is exciting. I like the word embargoed. The word embargoed makes me feel very special and fancy and I like the word embargo. So, um, yes, so next week we're going to play a new game. So I was like, oh, I don't want to start a new game this week because I'm going to have to take a week off for next week. And then what if I was to work out and playing that game? Eh, I don't know. So um, we're going to play more GeoGuessr. So if you like hilariously tragic deaths and geography, two of my favourite hobbies. Um, <laughs> Remember everyone. You are all loved and appreciated and look after yourselves. Big love to the Walrus Clan. Correct, TTJ Stephen. TTJ Dick Salute. Oh, I keep interrupting the TTJ Dick Salute. Um, Stephen, again, thank you for the 100 bits, and that is all very true. Um, but yeah, we'll do some GeoGuessr later, and I'll pop the links in chat so that we can kind of play together, um, have a go at playing together. Obviously, if you're playing with me, and you're playing your own game, no Cheaty McCheatersons. In this establishment, I won't know because I can't read your minds through the computers, but it's not even about me knowing. It's about your own personal trust in yourself, you know? Um, so don't get me started with hilarious geography deaths. I know, I'm sure there's loads. Um, but we'll play some, some Edith Finch. Emma, the merch, you've got to show the merch off. <sighs> not that anyone can buy this merch anymore. I can't even get this merch. Um, but yes, we will play some more. Edith Finch. No! Um, AW Shug, 27 months. And just 27. 27? That is an insane amount. Thank you so much for that. Um, I can live with my cheating self. Well, gosh darn it. Not very nice. Should we play the game? Should we play the game? The quicker we get this finished, the quicker we can play some more GeoGuessr. Where? Ooh, eh, my mouse. Ooh, eh, here it is. Okay, oh, almost quit the game. Let me just turn, you'll hear some, you'll hear Edith Finch before you see it. Okay, hopefully it won't break. I've had to change some settings, but hopefully you can all hear it all right and everything is grand. I have a bit of a bubbly tummy at the moment, so if I do a little hiccup or burp, please allow it. <laughs> it's medical condition. Um, okay, so we've just, oh yeah. Everyone's favorite moment, this guy, get boffed off the cliff who's that friendly bear well this will be emma she's our 
are Junkoskog. Or do I say it wrong? This is Peter's always telling me I say it wrong. The Junk the Skog? The jungle of skog. From death, Sam seemed to I go out know. of his way to meet it. Yeah, he did. it was quite funny, wasn't it? Um But yeah. This is uh this is Emma, she's great and she likes to cuddle and I like to just rest my hand on her and have some cuddle times during the spookiest of time of the months of the year. October. Um, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Okay, I forgot that we're pregnant. Oh man, we're pregnant. What a nightmare. Oh no, Emma, don't look at the rug. Emma! <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh, so sorry. Don't look. Okay, you can look now. Everything's fine. Uh, how to play this game? Oh yeah. Triggers. Um, my bottom burps are beautiful. Bottom burps are encouraged. Well, I hope you won't be doing any audible bottom burps. And I won't be telling you if I do any silent ones either. Because that's not something we need on the internet. And I would be heavily embarrassed if I did one on the internet. After Sam died? Live on air. My mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. What is this room? This room is incredibly just haunting at the top of this in this attic. That's true. I don't want to. I don't want to come for Mikey because, you know, I don't want people to think I'm going in competition with him because I would definitely win a fart off. I would not. Categorically, would not. I'm not even going to own that right now. Gregory, Dawn, and Gus. Okay. I think Gregory may have died as a bab. Dear Kay. Do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh? <laughs> like something I really want to find out if Robot Lady can say Jungle Scorg. She can, kind of. I'm a baby in a bar. Things the rest of us don't. Gregory, with my frog, my froggy and my duck, my froggy and my duck. Huh. <laughs> Oh, my frog. Oh, the frog's alive. It's alive. I hand over Gregory. It's time to. What? Don't leave this. You can't leave a baby in a bath on its own. That's like rule 101 of babies, isn't it? You can't leave them on their own. Ducky, more ducky. Gregory is not a cute name for a baby. You're right. It's like calling a, a baby um, Ro Roger. Baby Roger. Our little baby Roger. Isn't he adorable? No, his name's Roger. Yeah, I mean, if this baby's about to drown in the bath, I mean, there's only one person to blame. Mama. Mama left me here on my own. Ducks. <gasps> oh my god, this is amazing. Boing! <laughs> I'm very easily pleased, me. I want that. I want that whale. It's probably going to get demonetized on YouTube. Oh, I'm stuck up here now. Uh, um, was I meant to be here? Oh yeah, I am. Sure made him happy. Whale. <laughs> yeah, there is a whistle boying in all of my streams. You're right. I'm gonna turn this whale the right way round. He's gonna drown. He did it. We saved the whale. Hashtag save the whales. Oh, I can't get out now. Can I get on top of the whale? <gasps> yes! What is that thing?
Yeah, you shouldn't worry about me. You should worry about me being in the bath unsupervised. Bubble. Mum, look at all my toys. Mum? Mum! Don't leave me in the bath! Oh, we're going to drown. We're going to drown. Mum! Mummy! Mummy, get the cream! Mummy, uh, get the cream. Frog, we're the frog now. Hashtag we're the frog. Bring me to mummy. Get the cream. But I know what happened it wasn't your fault. Uh, I think it kind of was. I just would not have answered the phone. Oh, bye guys. Keep warm. Be happy to. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. So... What? So we... So we drowned. Baby, baby drown. Baby did a, baby did a drown. Orcs. Thanks, Mom. Why have they got lockers like they're in a school? This is weird, isn't it? I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet. Was her mom called Dawn? So that's his, that's her brother. Okay. That wasn't as funny as the last one. You're right. But, you know, not all deaths can be funny. We just have to respect the ones that can. Raise flag at 7.30. Breakfast at 8 a.m. You would not catch me anywhere at 8 a.m. Unless it has to be at the airport. 8 a.m. I wake up every morning at half past seven. Then I sleep until 8 a.m. Then I wake up and I leave my house at half past eight. But I would not be eating any breakfast. I think I'm awake enough to eat breakfast at 8 a.m. Quiet time, 11 p.m. So is that bedtime then? Dawn, sweep and trash. Gus, mop, mow yard. Greg, be a baby. Oh my God, that's my job. When people say to me, they say, Ben's job. Ben's job is to run the channel. Peter's job is to make sure all their videos are edited. And Ashley's job is to be a baby. <laughs> that's my job. Oh my God. They knew me. Okay, now we're gonna find out how another child died. Exciting. A poem for Gus. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Uh oh. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard. Before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Whose wedding is it? Greg did his job run, he was dead. You're right, he shouldn't be dead. Pretty sure he was meant to just mow the lawn, not be dead. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Oh, Gus, why are you so angry? Is it because your dad hits you? That, I mean, that's fine. It's not fine that your dad hits you, but it's fine that you're angry if your dad hits you. You know? I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met him. Greg had one job, be, but yeah, Greg did his job. Well, no. Who was the other one? <laughs> Who am I? Gus is this man. This is Gus. Gus had to mow the lawn. Gregory had to be a baby. Uh, and um, they both did a really bad job at doing that. Oh. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. Good for us. Nice one, Gus. Is Gus gonna get like struck by lightning or something? Up, what do we think? Geese appeared and quickly went. Geese. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent.
Gus is a savage. Gus is a straight savage. Ben runs a tunnel because he's so fast. He does exactly that, you know. So all of these kids no just kind of like magic. That nature might destroy the tent our dad has crudely made. We're gonna set things on fire. I hope so. I love fire. Got some chairs. Oh. Are we gonna get like struck by lightning, or are we gonna get like? My father said well, we're gonna get struck by lightning. Louder. We're gonna get struck by lightning. Oh! We're gonna get killed by this tent. Ugh. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't until we found you. What happened? What happened? What happened? Did he get killed by uh, the? About him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. I don't really understand what happened, but I died, and that's what really mattered. Did he get crushed by furniture? I just figured like, if the tent had like actually done that, they would have found him quicker. But he got killed by a gust of wind. Very good. Very nice, Kevin. Six points. Um, I'm enjoying this game. Who asked me? I uh, miss uh, Ricky. I'm enjoying this game so far. Yeah, I've quite liked it. Um, I everyone was saying like it's really hard hitting, and I'll probably cry. But I think the issue is that I'm too. Um, that's what I'm looking for. Gosh darn immature to cry. My mom moved up to the loft after her brother. I've kind died. of laughed a bit too much. I think. Like when At Sam time, died, it was fully laughed out good. loud. Oh, this is nice. This isn't nice. We can just look down at our dead brother's beds. This is nice, isn't it? The holy bibble. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Sanjay. Daddy Sanjay. Edith's giving me, not Edith, Dawn's giving me big by, by energy. But that's great. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Yeah, well, her dad did die in quite a funny way, so I can understand why she kind of needs to look to someone. My mom moved to a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. Oh. Didn't wait around. Good for them, I guess. Okay, well, we are very died, pregnant. I We're going to die here, aren't we? Where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. So we had kids in the house again. Oh. There's us. That's our brother Milton. And that's our brother Lewis. And that's our mama. The youth of today. <laughs> yeah. Alright. The house had to get a little bigger, oh. but Edie was used to that. I don't know if it needed to get bigger, like, upwards. There seemed to be enough rooms in the house that perhaps we didn't need it to get bigger in the Remember sense of the way it did get bigger, you know? Good. Almost normal. Why would you, these kids needed to not be homeschooled? I don't think I've ever met a family that needed to be homeschooled less than this family here. They're insane. All of them. Ah, it's a nice view, isn't it? Last. Great job. Oh, it's making me look at something. Edith. Okay, well, there's all the names of our dead family members. So that's a nice lesson, isn't it? I don't know if I'd want to be homeschooled. No, I wouldn't have wanted to be homeschooled. Categorically wouldn't have. Whenever I had to get my dad to help me with homework, it was a nightmare. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday. When Edie the beginning gave of the castle. end. Why would you make something for a child that is this high up? When you live near the ocean. You're asking for more death. I'm not going to lie to you, gang. You keep saying that it's fate that you, you know, kept getting murked by everything. 
But I'm thinking maybe it's your own fault. Not to victim blame. Not to dead baby blame. But I'm just saying. This is not sensible. Uh, this is not sensible. Uh, David. Alright, we're going in. Breaking in. Yellow footprints. Nice. It is a bit like Hello Neighbor, the way it's kind of built. This would not have got planning permission, I'm just going to say that now. Ain't no way. Milton. 1992. Did he just die in 1992? Normally there's a birth, but alright. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. Yeah, a chew. I love flip books. If I could make, if I was clever enough to make one, I would definitely make one. But I'm just a bit thick. That's all. A portal to another dimension. Exciting. And he never came back. Well, I know where that door is. It's just downstairs, Milty baby. So what happened to Milton? He just... I was four when Milton disappeared. He just disappeared. Okay, again. Can't help but feel like if you make him hang out on a tower at the top of the house, you're more likely to lose him. You know. The Mom's music is definitely beautiful. This game is really good. I just think I'm emotionally stunted. You know? Eh. Let me out. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. What did Milton find in the house, babe? Oh my god, it's still going up. This is not a sensible house design. I'm sorry, Finches. But are you insane? How many kids are going to fall off Mom this? Mom blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. Why? Why? After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Why is there a boat here? Who put this boat up here? Who put this boat up here? I just put boats in places where boats aren't supposed to be. Boats have a set number of places. The ocean being one of them. Oh, this is a funky little hangout, though. If it wasn't deathly high in the sky... I think maybe people had too much time and money on their hands, you know? This is why generational wealth is a bad thing. Right, we're going in. Ever since the baby drowned, we have boats in every room. That would have saved Lewis's it in the bar. Smelled very, very familiar. Why are we just left? Edith, I didn't tell you to do that, hun. Back in there. So when, every time a child dies, the mum just seals up the room, do they? That's why they have to keep buying new bits of the house, because... I see. Interesting. Dear Mrs. Finch, As Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Oh. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the camera. Oh, this is like my worst nightmare for a job. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. I don't think this is going to be a funny one either, you know. His mind began to... Wonder. <gasps> a little man! I asked him to describe it. He said he started Two games small. at once. Two games at once. Imagining a labyrinth. 
he gave the could feel his way about. Not that way. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. A big dinosaur thing. And things that Go have on. not names. Uh, I'm he trying not to look at the hands. What's her name? Thank you so much for raiding with a part of four. Serious. Welcome. I hope hope everyone's doing okay. Myself. A red carpet? Fun. Oh, please don't get your hands up, door. I can't, I really can't deal with that. But he found something more. What? <gasps> 3D now? Fun. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model no. employee. No! Methodical, tireless, focused. Not very good at gaming. Cat, thank you so much for subscribing for six months. Happy six month anniversary. Half a year of being our best like a friend. Whole new Lewis. So I let him go. Stop. Up. Um, uh, where are we? I even encouraged him. It seemed right, very promising at first. He told a me whole he Lewis, a new indeed. A dog! Oh my god. Leave him On alone. The edge of a city, he dog. named Lewis Topi. Doggy! Come on, doggy. You can do it. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Ah, a drummer man. Then he made musicians. And songs for ah, them to play. Ah, this is a nice place. Let's just hang out in this bit forever. He talked about starting a band. Ah, a trumpet. I mean, what is that thing? A trombone? Always no. Yes? Another drum? Every day his imagination grew stronger. And, uh, plot twist, he gets crushed by a tent. Maybe. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Please, I don't want to see his hand and get one cut day off. It struck him. At all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet. Look at this nice thing. I think we should just stay here We're forever. In his imagination. No, this is nice. We can just stay so here he forever. Do whatever he wished. Okay. That's good. I hope we're doing something nice. There's nice things, nice and things for he happy people. For me. And he won. Yeah. Well, it is called Lewis Topia. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. The clever thing would be for his hand not to get cut off. It's too obvious, and a meteor just lands right on his head. I mean, that would be a surprise. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Louisville. New Louisville. Louisville, USA. St. Louis. St. Louis, that's a real place. Oh, oh, my boat's got stuck. Okay, we're good. He started drifting away from our reality. It's so cool. Minneapolis. Minneapolis! Lewis. He forgot to go home from the <laughs> Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing off. Mama got fish to make. Lou on Trent. Louisiana. Lou New York. Yeah. Newcastle upon Lewis. In Lewisburg, he heard rumours of a... 
Obviously, we've got to go for the gay character, haven't we? Beautiful prince. A beautiful prince will be my boyfriend. Uh, have he's got a nice? The prince was on his own quest for radiant rainbows. Radiant rainbows. I'm having a good time. A nice time. Oh no, we missed one. Ugh. Oh. He followed the sound of his silver harp. We'll go right this time. Electric sitar or silver harp. We'll go for a silver harp. Silver harp. Gay option is the only option. You're right, Morgan. You're so right. Where's the fish? His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Ooh, uh... Even then, his logic remained sound. Oh, a fish. No, I don't want him to get his hand cut off. Please. He knew the world was all in his imagination. Lots of fish all of a sudden. Oh. But he was so proud of having created it. A perfect number of people in chat right now. I in can't his see own the eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. Sick lad. I'm looking for your most beautiful prince. Never known success in the real world, and I'm ready for a smooch. And then it struck her that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. Yeah, I think so too, Lewis. We should probably quit our job, Lewis. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. Oh, where'd my beautiful prince gone? It was hard to argue with him. Oh! Okay, well, we've not got a hand cut off, so... That's good, isn't it? A games console, Chinese, some mental fauna. This is quite sad, but we're just not going to think about it. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, yes. the cannery worker. This is an interesting place. Why are we just putting all of these dead fish back in the ocean? Oh. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. This palace sucks. Hello, Finch. Oh, that's me. That's us. Lewis. I still thought I could save him. Oh no. Even after no. he said he was being crowned king of all the lands of wonder. Something very bad is going to happen. I think he's going to get minced up. He's going to get minced up into a tuna can. The palace would be packed with his companions. I think I'm about to die now. A Luna can, indeed, Mr. Black. Guys, I think I'm gonna die now, guys. I'm just gonna die now. <laughs> I think I might die now. Where's my beautiful prince? That's what I wanna know. Where's my prince?
were promised a spoon. The there he is! Waited, holding his crown. No, look what's in front of him. There was only one thing left to do. I can't do this. I don't think we should ask for a speech anymore. No, I know. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bend down his head. No. 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 Eden and Pops, thank you so much for subscribing and crying. Hey, I should hope you well. Just quick clap and Eden myself. This game isn't really for Eden. We hope you enjoy the stream and have a good evening. Eden and Pops, thank you so much for the subscription. And I'm so sorry. I think we should just turn the game off now, to be honest. Um, we're just going to have to do it, aren't we? I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who know. <laughs> Annie! <sighs> they all lived happily ever after. The end. That's it. They got a nice smoochie with the nice cool. prince, and that was I wish it. You met him. Guys, did I send my tweet? I don't think I did. Hold on. I don't think I sent my tweet. Hold on. I wrote a tweet. I do this every week. I write a tweet and then I forget to send it. Where's my mouse? I don't think I did. <sighs> you guys, I'm going to do it now. I didn't. Well, it's only been 42 minutes. They were only 42 minutes late. <laughs> every single time. Every single week I write a tweet and every single week I forget. Addy, that was, it was good. It was good. I enjoyed it. If not, hated it a bit, but it's okay. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he I'm was live surprisingly now. bad at them. <laughs> he died a lot. Well, it's not really... I mean, he died in real life also, Edith, so... Sorry, I hiccuped. Is this going to be like... I'm On not actually Edith. Funeral, my mom told me I'm Edith's back. kid. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. Oh. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I think I'm actually Edith's kid. Um. I wish we'd stayed. Oh. But I understand why we left. It's a weird room, isn't it? What's this place? Oh, this is the room that they stayed in after everyone else in the whole house had died. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. Oh, we learn your job is to be baby, not send tweet. True. Uh, good, okay. Up the stairs. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. Oh. Imagine living a life where your purpose is to find out how all of your ancestors died. It's a dream, really, isn't it? All that's left now was to tell you about that last night. We all died, did we? All of us. We died. I think I'm not Edith. I think I'm actually her daughter. And if I am, I'm gonna be really stupid. Oh, I'm actually about to write my book. Oh, turns out I am Edith. That whole I think. last day, Edie just yeah, I am actually Edith. Didn't say a word. <laughs> I think until supper, when she raised her glass and said, "To our final night together." Cheers. And all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. 
Why don't you go over it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. I well, told you! Tomorrow, I knew we were the Edith! We're the kids! Edith, you're excused. She's also called Edith! We are the kid! We're the kid of Edith Finch. Also happens to be called Edith. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. Her when arms my mom's were cut the library, off. Her I don't legs think were she knew off. about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. So you get presents into this room. A room full of books where there's also candles, not very safe. The thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. I'm confused, to be honest, but I'm just going to hang out. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Oh, that's savage, that is. Real savage. History of the Finches by Edie Finch. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you. But I think that was her mum, actually. This is about what happened on the night you were born. Oh, uh, birth stories, my fave. The tide went way, way out. We're gonna walk to that thing over there. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. No place to have earthquakes, to be fair. The lowest tide in a thousand years. I wish we could run. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. Never thought I'd go back to it. Where the old lady right now? When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. That's all right. There's a light. That's the reason that there's a light. Hello. I got turned around. Oh my god, I just freaked out, I thought For I saw a, a spider, while. but I think I it was wonder. just in my brain. I'm hoping it was just in my brain. We're not having any of this spider debacle right now. It's not the time. Not time. I started seeing things. A oh dear. Hello. You're like the one that killed Sam. That was funny, that was. Do it again. Do it again. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. Not like a train, because that other one forgot a train existed and then got but hit by when one. I saw them, they Orcs. felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Burn down the or stream. Maybe I came back to them. I love that the house is just like as if still the gates intact. Wow, Things the house is pretty fine explain, considering it's but that I need you to try and Edith, what are you doing in here? It's Let fine. me read Edith. my Mom, you're book. Gonna rip it. Let go. Mom. Let me read my book. I kicked and screamed, but she didn't read my Mom book. dragged me to the car. Mom. I never you saw a great grandma Edie. Literally again. ruined my life, Mom. Edie, I can't believe we just the left next her there. The van came to pick her up, but she was already Oh, we couldn't After have that, even we waited for her to, like, t to go before we, you know, did that thing. My hand is we a dog We both tried to make the best of it. I was rude, Mum. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. Wee. But she started getting sick a lot. 
Mom, you just coughed on my dandelion. COVID. She's got COVID. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. Love you, Mom. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Orcs. Until I found out about you. Baby. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But I'd be is, like... I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. I'd be like, well, I'm basically doomed. Like, I'm, it's just a matter of time before I die. All of this is. So I could just... I would just be like, just don't even bother. This journal was supposed to be for you. Oh my god, we're about to get born. But now I hope you'll never see it. We're going down the birth canal. Exciting. I just want to meet you. And tell you all these stories myself. Oh, this is what it's like to be born. I, I kind of want to do it again. It feels like it'll be fun. I guess if you're reading this now. Things didn't work out that way. About to get born. Birth me, mother. Whee bust my way out this is where your story Ugh. begins i'm sorry i won't be there to see it it's a lot to ask but i don't want you to be sad that i'm gone i want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all good luck uh mama i oh, were a boy she had a boy a boy what actually did happen to her then? <laughs> what actually did happen to her? A boy. <laughs> what happened? We still don't know what happened to what we did. I suppose it's what remains, isn't it? Oh, R.I.P. Shirley. I hate to be confused by your game again, but it will continue to happen. Um, Oh, we did it! We finished the game! Go us. I'm proud of us. Mainly me, because I am the one that played the game, but I'm proud of all of us who are here. Quit the game. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, excuse. I pressed the button. <laughs> um, so that was what remains of Edith Finch. We did it. It took us um, two hours. First try solo did it. Didn't even really get stuck that much. Well, quite a lot. But that's all right. Um... Well done us, we did it. Um, I enjoyed it. I think maybe because I was playing it on stream, I didn't take it as seriously as I think other people did. Because everyone's always like, oh my God, that game is so emotional. Most emotional thing about it is that it made me laugh like three or four times. But that's okay. Everyone's got different, everyone enjoys things differently and I enjoyed it, it's a fun game. I've ruined it all for you. Well, I've ruined it for all of you even is what I was trying to say, but that's all right. Well, that's all right. I think we should play some GeoGuessr. Emma, what did you think? She loved it. The hand cutting bit was a bit emotional. You are right. It's, um, it was, excuse me. It was kind of just quite intense. I didn't really want to kill off him. Kill off him? Kill him off. But beggars can't be choosers, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think. Wait, wait, I'm gonna say I think we're gonna play some GeoGuessr now. I just need to set it up. Bear with, bear with, bear with. Everyone, just bear with for two seconds. Just bear with. The uh, Emma, you're not a very good mouse man. I'm just gonna have to ask you to move for a sec because we need to make sure this is working. Some spooky GeoGuessr. You say that, but yes, absolutely spooky GeoGuessr because I found some spooky maps. Some spooky dooky maps. Well, I found one spooky map so far. But one is more than none, isn't it? Hello? Oh, I've got... Okay. Um, so I thought we could do this, and I think we can send it to all of you lot. We can all play together. I thought that would be quite right, fun. Um, we are probably going to have to use the patented smooth brain cam, because let's face it, it's going to happen. Um, but if you could just come here. The answer is always Grand Canyon. We're doing some... Spooky and scary locations across the world. Oh, actually, I need to change the Twitch info. <laughs> bear with, bear with. Bear with, bear with, bear with. 
Emma, bear with. Okay. I'm, I'm not changing the stream title because Ben got really confused last time. Um, so what we'll do, I will do it. We've got a five minute time limit. You can move around as much as you want. And we'll have a really fun, funky, fresh, good time. I'm excited. I really like GeoGuessr. It's one of my favorite games. Um, let me pop on. Oh, it's not here. Mm. We'll pop on some easy Sunday just to set the mood, you know? Just to set the mood. There we are. A little bit of easy Sunday. Love that for us. Uh, I'm going to challenge you lot. Five minutes per round. Invite my friends. Coffee. I'm going to pop it in the chat. Excuse me. Excuse me, miss. No, wrong link. That's the wrong link. And you guys can all play along if you want to. And then at the end, you can all see who did better. It doesn't think I'm logged into Twitch. Bear <laughs> with. We had to log it, like, we changed one of our passwords today, so um, everything's a bit confused, but that's all right. So we're doing some spooky, spooktastic situations, so we'll just go through and we'll find out where all the spooky things are. Um, right, immediately. No idea. What's this place? What does that say? What does that say? Ooh. What is this? Oh, I've gone past it. Is this the spooky thing? This, like, weird church thing? I mean, it, I guess it is kind of spooky, but I don't know. This kind of looks like, I think it's, it's this continent. And by this continent, I'm gonna say Europe. It's so scary, Europe is terrifying. Why would you ever go to Europe? Is this the scary thing? It must be this thing. It probably tell me what it is once we've, you know, figured it out. Um, I think it's definitely Europe, right? It doesn't look like America, the roads are too small. Drag Schlom Slot. What did you just call me? What did you just call me? Um, that's a bad joke, but that's okay. I'm gonna go with it. Italy, potentially. It's parkering, it's not parking. It's parkering. Where do they say parkering? I think this no. is, you know, <coughs> Dr. Mundy, thank you so much for subscribing for 22 months. Drag Schlom Slot Hotel and Restaurant. Maybe it isn't general Europe. No, it definitely is. Okay, I'm going with like this vibe. Uh, and given the name, I don't know where this is. I'm gonna tell you right now no idea where this is where's somewhere spooky transylvania where's that uh, <laughs> what country is that in transylvania is a real place isn't it right i always thought it was a real place is it in russia home is quite nordic yes what i thought like Stockholm. Maybe we'll, we'll stick it in Sweden for now. We'll stick it right in Sweden. God, it's right in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? God. I wouldn't want to stay here, I don't think. What does that say? I can't read that sign. Gosh darn it. I don't think I'd like to stay. Transparency in Romania, is it? Where's Romania? There it is. Transsexual Transylvania. Wow, wow. Oh, Ugh, Emma, I need to use you as a mouse mat. But you're not actually, I'm gonna use the t-shirt as a mouse mat because that's a bit better than your soft, soft, soft fur. As a Swede, my professional opinion is I have no idea where we are. Amazing news. Um, Shy Bees, as a Swede, can you tell me how you spell the word parking? Please. 
Is it parkering? Just out of curiosity. Parkering? Is that how you spell parking? Transylvania is a region. Makes sense. Makes sense. Parkering. See, that says parkering. Where would park? Oh, we've only got a minute. Emma, you'd be better. Be a better mouse bat. Oh, Emma. <laughs> Just gonna make a pile of stuff. Okay. Oh, I think we're in Sweden. Okay. No idea where though. Gothenburg. That sounds promising, doesn't it? That's kind of spooky. But it's kind of also in the middle of nowhere. So maybe we'll go like here. Uh. It's so tiny. I, I literally can't even see. I wish I had my glasses on. Not that, that would help, I don't think, because let's face it. Oh, we'll just guess. Ooh. Turns out they also spell like that in Denmark. <laughs> Whoops. Where is what is this place and why is it spooky? Who's that? Who is that? <laughs> Who is that? How did you do that? Did you Google it? Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, this is very not nice. Some kind of div, thank you so much for raiding for a party with a party of twelve, you wonderful human being, you. Welcome to uh, this real nightmare of a place. Where is this? Where is this? What the heck? This is horrible. It's real horrible, this is, not gonna lie. If this is somewhere that you like to visit, why? <laughs> why? Okay, we can we can pick this is a long path. I wanna say America, you know, but I feel like This is such a long path. Why would anyone walk all this way? I'm so lazy. Oh, this is as far as we can go. God damn it. Jesus, Jesus is my friend. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is my friend. I wish Jesus could help me have better eyesight so I could read what this sign says. Oh man. I know the sunset looks gorgeous. But where are we? What kind of cars we got? No big huge 4x4s. Which makes me think it's not America. Because they have often got big... They always have huge 4x4s, don't they? Maybe South America? Hell, Michigan. I don't think it is. Because there's no 4x4s. And that's how we always, we always know. Is it America? How big are their cars? Normal size? It's not America then, is it? Because if it's normal size... Then it's probably just any other country. I wish I could make the font bigger because I'm very. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to lean in. I don't think I'm doing very well on this so far, not gonna lie. It's been a while since I've played this game. How long have we got? Two minutes. I don't even know where hell is. No, I don't think it's the US either. I do think it's South America. Maybe Brazil? No. I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely Christianity, but I just don't think it's necessarily... Oh, this place is horrible. I feel bad if it's like, you know, people like really like this place and this is somewhere that they've put stuff but it, it's just horrible I think it could be Florida it's weird enough it could be definitely could. it's just why would you why would you do this 
Yeah, maybe the Caribbean. I just think maybe it's a bit too green. Not saying the Caribbean isn't green, I just think that fields wise. I'm currently in Colombia. Ugh, where is this? I only got 55 seconds. We'll just bung it middle of Mexico and hope for the best. Oh, I just think it might be not. We'll go Bolivia, YOLO. No. It's exactly how I feel. <laughs> that was so well timed. Um, Tulip Lynn, thank you so much for following. No. Lithuania, it was Lithuania. Hill of Crosses, horrible. Yeah, horrible. One point, one point, no. Okay. Some kind of cannon place, a place where cannons are, and some kind of nice scenery here. Soledad. Soledad. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Soledad. Soledad, Soledad, Soledad. Soledad. Ashton, where's Soledad? Come on. You know where it is. We've seen, we know this name. Soledad. Oh, you crazy Lithuanians. You crazy Lithuanians. My cousin Cannon Place. Is Soledad in Spain? Do I know? I don't think I do know where it is. Am I the drama? Oh, I'm so dumb. Why am I so... Why can't I do geography? I did history in school. I chose to do history because I thought it would be more useful. What an idiot. Clearly I should not have chosen history. I should have done geography. Because if I had done geography, let me out of this location, please. Something. Um... If I'd have done geography, then maybe I would have known where this is. It's quite tropical, isn't it? Oh, I've got lost. Soledad. What is Soledad? Where is it? What's this place? Oh, there's Hawaii. It's not Hawaii, I don't think. It's so tiny. So tiny. Palm trees. Indeed, palm trees. I don't know geography, it's for knowing all. For know it alls. What do you need to know where everything is, Becky? I know. Why, Becky, why do you need to know where everything is? So you can be good at GeoGuessr. I respect it. Everywhere was a, sp a former Spanish colony, they, they owned half the world. The federal state of Micronesia. The federated states of Micronesia. Hmm, interesting. I don't think it's Asia, I think it's too tropical. Um, it's gonna sound really stupid now when I'm gonna say this. I, I, don't know where the, I don't know where the Caribbean is. I don't know what counts as the Caribbean. Oh, oh, it's there, the Caribbean Sea. <laughs> God, Ashton, just, just don't say things. Uh, someone that floods a lot. I think it's Hawaii too, but it says Soledad. And I just feel like I should know where that is. It just sounds so familiar. Been there, Gran Canaria. Went to Las Palmas, it's up here, went there. It's Guam. I don't know where Guam is. What is a Guam? I don't know where that is. I'm an idiot. Where's Guam? I don't know what Guam is. I don't know where Guam is. Oh, I thought it said Guam, it doesn't. Uh, uh. I can figure this out. I can't. How long have we got? A minute. No need to panic. We have a whole minute. 
So much can be done in a minute. You can run a mile in a minute if you're fast enough. I can't, but someone probably can. Fiji, Tonga, North New Caledonia. Stephen, how did you find it? Are you just like really smart or are you cheating? I think I forgot what I'm even looking for at this point. I don't know where Guam is. It's fun. But it's fun to say. Guam is fun to say. Am I not in the Pacific? I'm in the Pacific. I know it's an island. I'm looking so hard. But I simply do not know where it is. I'm trying very much to find it. But I do not know where. It's not even going to be in Guam, is it? It's going to be somewhere completely different. I'm just going to have been looking for Guam this whole time. South of Japan. I feel like I'm cheating a bit, but I'm alright with it. Uh, how bizarre. How... Okay, well, I wasn't that far away. It was in Guam. Oh, yeah. That is where it is. Okay. Well... Have you tried to, have you tr even tried to search the entire ocean? I know, uh, I know, uh, I'm bad. <laughs> I know where this is, I know where this is. Well, in theory I know where this is. But if you were to ask me to point it out to you on a map, I couldn't do that. Which unfortunately... Stephen, you're not meant to Google it! That's cheating, Stephen! Uh, <laughs> you can't, you're not meant to Google! If I could Google it, I'd have figured it out years ago. God damn it. <laughs> could you point out on the map? I can't. Russia is so big. I know what I'm looking for, but I simply do not know where it is. Uh, where in the world is Chernobyl? Where in Russia here is it? I need to find Chernobyl, but I don't know where it is. Is it in Russia? I think so. It's not in Russia? Oh god, I'm such an idiot. I thought it was in Russia. I'm gonna have a- I'm gonna cry. This is everyone just really realising how thick I am. I thought it was in Russia. So I was in Ukraine. Is it really? I believe you. Because you're all saying it. If only one of you was saying it. I feel like I'm cheating a bit because you're all telling me where to go. But I'm kind of okay with that. Because let's face it, if, if you weren't doing that, you'll be ripping your dicks off. Um, as someone who's done that, it's really painful. Oh, it's all in. It's all in the gradient. You're not cheating, we're a team. Okay, I like that. That makes me feel better. <laughs> Is it really not in Russia? Amy has told me this whole time I thought it was in Russia and it's not in Russia. It was part of the Soviet Union but not part of Russia today. Ah. Ah. Interesting. Chernobyl is on HBO Max. You're right. You're right. Okay. I just feel like it would be bigger. You know, I just feel like it would be more obvious. And I feel like it would be more to the Russian side, like northeast. Northeast kind of situation. It's in Newcastle, but I'd, I couldn't point that out, to be honest. I think I'd struggle to find Newcastle on a map. Actually, in case anyone didn't know this about me, I'm really bad at geography and, and maths. Not maths. <laughs> I meant maps. I meant maps, but I said maths. Where's Kiev? Oh god, where's Kiev? Oh, there it is. Oh! Okay, where is it, 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 where is it? Okay, from here, we're at the, we're at the theme park, aren't we? That's where we are. So where is the theme park? Would I even know? Uh, 
That's the inclusion exclusion zone. Right. Monument of Ukrainian and Japanese friendship. Oh, that's nice. It's nice, isn't it? Because it's in the exclusion zone. So it must be around here somewhere. I don't know what that says. Unfortunately, no idea what that says. We'll just go with like here. What? 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 I'm confused. You mean to tell me? It's not even in Chernobyl. It's somewhere else. This is a different place. This isn't even Chernobyl. How big is the zone? Huh? It's not even in Chernobyl. It's in Pripyat. Oh, why am I so bad at this? It's massive. Oh, wow. Well, well, I feel dumb. No. Thanks for trying to help me, gang. Clearly, I literally cannot be helped. I mean, we made made it to Ukraine, which, let's face it, we weren't there before. So. A spooky old house. There's lots of these in England. You can find loads of those bad boys. If you're looking for just a spooky little house that's boarded up. <laughs> I know of about three down the motorway. They just live next door to it, don't they? This is just this lady's house. And someone has deemed this house next door a spooky house. Pripy Pripyat is the town, but it was called the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. I can't believe my whole life, my entire life, I thought that Chernobyl was in Russia and that Chernobyl was where the disaster happened. And my whole life, I've been insanely incorrect. Windmill makes it the Netherlands. It could be the Netherlands. You never know. Your Netherlands, no. Stella Artois, Europe. It was the USSR. I, I understand now why, why I'm wrong. But I just want to let everyone know that I'm still upset about it. And I will continue to be upset about it. For at least the, tonight until I get distracted by something else. Was it in the USSR when it exploded? God, I feel so dumb. Is this some kind of weird ghost town? Is that why it's spooky? Because there don't seem to be anyone around, apart from that restaurant. Uh, what is this place? It is actually quite spooky. Okay, that's got... Oh my god! Are we at Chernobyl again? No, where are we? I want to go up there. I can't see from here. No, we're not at Chernobyl again, because that's not in the Ukrainian alphabet. But why is this whole town abandoned? What is this place? Where are we? I think we are in the Netherlands. I think you guys are right. I was kind of... Oh, I was almost good. I was almost near the Netherlands. Was I? Where the hell's the Netherlands? Netherlands? Where are the Netherlands? Ah! Ah! Happy 420 blaze at oh, my Deuce Award 16 dab. I know I'm going on vacation oh, soon, guys, so I got a hammer out those spooky jokes now, so get ready. What's a skeleton's oh. favorite instrument? A saxophone. Ha ha ha. How do ghosts search the web? They use Google. Hi e. Where Google. do zombies like to trick or treat? Where am I? Dead ends. Ho ho ho. Oh, there is. Who was the most famous skeleton detective? Sherlock Bones. Ha ooh ooh. Where do ghosts go on holidays? 
The Bahamas. The Bahamas. Nice. Where do fashionable ghosts shop? Boutiques. Nice. Hey ho ooh. Ah! smooth grain blazed. You are not correct with not incorrect with the smooth brain, but also it didn't work. Uh, I pressed the button twice and Snoopy never appeared. Um, so my apologies, but happy 420. Lord Botovich and Stephen Skodes, thank you for the 100 bits each. And thank you so much for those fantastic Blaze It notices. I fully appreciated it while I struggled to find where the Netherlands is. Um, um, I have no idea where to go either. I'm just going to... Why is there a big... Why is there nobody in this town? What has happened here? What kind of crazy situation has this town been in? The fact that there's, like, nobody here and... What was that? Did you see that? What was that? It's like an explosion. Oh. Oh, I was quite close. Antwerp. It is 422 also again as well. Re 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 b b b b blaze it. <laughs> Thank you some kind of dip for the 100 bits. Um and I still don't know why that town was completely abandoned. It was weird, wasn't it? Hmm, strange. Well, we can't say I did well, but Lord Brotovich did the best. LB, did you cheat? Lord Brotovich, did you cheat? Charling Badger, did you also cheat? How have you all got so many points? Did you work together as a team? Is this some kind of... Is this some kind of coup? What's going on? It said doll everywhere. Oh, Addy Prama, I'm not very good at this game. I feel like maybe, it, maybe you think I'm better than I am. Well, it's still number seven out of eight. So it wasn't last, thanks to uh, Harrison. Thanks, Harrison, babe. <laughs> still me a solid there, mate. <laughs> Won't lie, okay. We're going to search for Spooky again and see what else is going on on the internet. Spooky. What else can we find? Oh, he timed out. I'm sorry, gang. It's okay. Interesting and unusual photospheres number 35. Spooky. We've just got one that's just called Spooky. If we go, if we go for Spooky and Scary Places in the USA number one. Hard. Well, bodes well, doesn't it? LB's definitely hacking. They definitely are. Definitely are hacking. They're just pro geo guesser, are they? Oh my god, Steve Rogers! Mr. America! <laughs> okay. Right, let me just copy this bad boy. Oh, I wish I didn't do that. It's very annoying. Hold on. New Orleans right off the bat, 100%. Salem, Massachusetts. This is the next one. It's in the chat if you want to come and play a with me. Um, and then we'll just do one where it's like, you know, I, I know that Lord Butterich can't do it as well because it's like just England. Not that I did very well that last time. Hotel of Terror. Well, that is pretty horrifying, isn't it? That's pretty... Ugh. Where the hell is this? What? What a strange place. America, you're crazy. Okay, well, we know it's America, so that's one step ahead. We're in a better set than we were last round, that's for sure. I'd do worse if it's England. Good, well, we'll try that next time then. What does that say? Jordan Creek. MSU Engineering. Or is that just like a name of someone? 
Adopt a stream. Is that what it says? Oh my god! Adopt a streamer! You can adopt me for just three pounds a month. Well, four pounds a month. I don't sell myself short. I'm worth at least another pound, I think. The rare breed. I hate that sign. Who made that sign? Abandoned factory. Could be literally anywhere in the US. That's the flat part of the US. You can adopt this stream if you'd like, Rory Siegel. Adopt Ashton and my only job is to be baby. That is true. You can adopt Emma if you want. She charges more though. She's like £15 a month. So if you want Emma, like you're going to have to bring out the big bucks. I'm cheap, you know, cheap as chips. It's all downtown.com. Interesting. Oh! What does that say? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Now we just have to find that. Where is it? There it is. Found it. Okay. So. Oh. Now we just have to find the place. I found a four by four. Nice. Good job. That means we know where we are. America. Maybe it's in St. Louis. Potentially. We're looking for Jonathan Creek. No, Jordan Creek. Jonathan Creek is the hit TV show starring Alan Davis. Which is really good, actually, by the way, in case you're wondering. It's very good. Hillsborough. Oh. You'd be able to see the arch. What arch? There's an arch? I wish the state lines were more... Obvious. Where does Missouri end and Louisville and Illinois begins? Okay. Maybe it's down here. Dexter. Great name. A very good friend called Dexter. There's a massive arch in St. Louis. Okay. Okay. Well, let's look for some more cues. Clues. Downtown. Well, I need to figure out what town we're in before we know what if we, that we're down it. You can't just say downtown Missouri because people will be like, "What? Are we in?" Jo uh, oh, what does that say? City Utilities Transit Center. What city? Why doesn't it say on it? Palace Hotel Lofts. No. CID downtown Springfield Community Independent District Springfield ah we found it downtown Springfield Uwe downtown Springfield come on we can do this 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 we've got 58 seconds Ooh, we're gonna do this come on where's the transit centre Got him! Where is it? Oh! Oh! No, that's just transportation consultants. That's not what we want. That's not what we want. We wanted the gosh darn transport. What do we want? What was it called? City Utility Transit Centre. Well, we can't find it. <laughs> Two R's. Can't find it. Oh, Spring Creek. I clicked on the wrong bloody Springfield. Oh, I was too far out. It was much closer than I thought. I went to downtown. I was too gosh darn downtown. How are you going to call that downtown? That's clearly smack bang in the middle. Whatever. Hello, Peter Austin. Hello, Ashley. I'm just going to do something. Do something they used to do in the old days of television. Just hand you a note. Just something that I okay. to do out loud. Don't. Just, just <laughs> cover, the, cover the bag. Do you like well, you Ben Potter? <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> yeah, do no. you like Ben Potter? Um, no. No? No. Okay. To the first bit. Right. 
I don't like Ben Potter. Okay. But no, right, I don't. You don't like Ben Potter. Good to know. Okay. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> uh, Everyone's saying hi. Hello, everyone. Okay. I will, um, I'll leave, I'll, I'll put something on your desk. Okay. 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 Cool. Thanks, Peter. Bye. Thanks, Peter. The hero we all need. He should have left an hour ago. He's such an overworker, Peter Austin. He should have left at half past five. That's the end of his work day. And look where he is. Oh. The Axe Murder House. And we can't move. This is it. It is just here. Good. Okay, not everyone was saying hi. Peter is great, isn't he? He is. He's a nice boy. A very nice boy. I'd love to stay at the Axe Murder Hotel. Oh my gosh! We've just got married! Where are we going to stay? Axe Murder Hotel. It's in Iowa. Villis Vill Villisca, Iowa. Okay, first challenge. Where is Iowa? Okay. Now we've got to find the... I wish the state lines are more clearly on this thing because I keep accidentally drifting off into whatever's next door, Nebraska. Okay. Um. Um. Okay, Iowa, Iowa. What are we looking for? I forgot. Villisca. Villisca. We can find this. We can find this. <laughs> New York. I thought that was in New York. I thought that was the way by the coast. Not a bad joke. Bedford? We've got Bedford here and a Reading. Oh my god. This feels just like home. Um, Axe Murderer, Iowa. Yeah. I thought that was my name, but it says Anth Anthon, not Ashton. Boo! Why not my name? Uh, um. Oh, there's too much information. My brain can't take it all in. Bedford? Where's Bedford? Come on. In the UK. We're clearly in the wrong country. Shellswig, Iowa, really? Is that where I clicked? Just kind of bunked it down. Oh, gang. Sheffield! Why is there so many English places? Sheffield. Just all in Iowa. We've got Sheffield, we've got Bedford, we've got Reading. Dundee. It's not English, but still. The next one's a pain in the ass. Oh good, I look forward to it. Because I'm doing so good. So it'd be a real shame to ruin my streak so far. Wyoming? <laughs> I keep getting confused. Salem, another one. Another Hillsborough. They're all over the place. Is that the same one? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. A pain in the axe murder house, damn straight. Yeah, it would be much easier if they could they could do it alphabetically. I think so too. Oh, we're back to New York again. Okay, there's lots of villes around here. Kirksville or Kirkville. <laughs> Where is it? Unionville? Drakesville? Blakesburg? That's not quite what we're looking for. Amy, I am doing okay. Thank you so much. I just can't find Villisca, which is apparently in Iowa, but I simply cannot find it. Birmingham! Another one! Glasgow! Why are they all in Iowa? So many places. Brighton? 
Iowa? What is going on? Why are all of the English places here? I'll see a Leicester in a minute. And a Newcastle upon Tyne. Guys, I can't find it. I've only got 20 seconds left. Oh, I'm sad. I'm so sad. Oh. Oh, I don't know where it is. It is New England. That is, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, but still. Okay, well, it wasn't so far away. Oh, I just needed to zoom in a bit more. There's a new castle in New York, not far from where I live. Nice. I was so distracted by Bedford and Reading, I didn't even see it. I was over there for so long talking about Bedford. Oh. Ugh, finger. <laughs> Gross. That's the worst bit. Stop, the finger's freaking me out. Is that as far as I can move? Are you joking? Is that it? Is that it? What is this place? It's horrible. It does look like Scotland. That's the spooky part, the finger. Is that the sanatorium they're making into apartments? Sure, hope not. Are you lying? Is that a real thing? Or is... This finger is really freaking me out. Why would you just have this bit? It's very upsetting to me. Oh my god, this is a horrible building. I would love to make a movie there. Um, we've got nothing to go off, so we're just going to go for. No! no! Mm. I was thinking northeast, I was thinking around here. Hundreds of years old, that is. Yeah, it's horrible. Um, Haywood89, thank you so much for subscribing for 19 months on a 19-month streak. Congratulations. Welcome to the gang. I say welcome. You've been here for longer than I have, but still. Um, it's all America. I'd go Massachusetts. You think? Where's Mass There's Massachusetts. Yeah, maybe it is Massachusetts. And there's a difference. There's another Springfield. Was that all we were before? I really can't remember. It's, it's been two minutes. How am I meant to remember these things? Oh, uh, YOLO. Oh, well, I wasn't too far away. It was in New York. Oh. Kings Park Psychiatric. Hmm. I'll be honest with you. If I was having a complete and utter mental breakdown and was having to be admitted into a, a psychiatric hospital, if you pulled me up to that, it's getting worse. I'm going to descend further into my madness. You pull up to that. Ugh. No, absolutely not. Oh, hi, Jack. How are you doing? I've got some throat sweets, strepsils, lozenges. You got a lozenge? I'm glad. Why aren't you streaming this evening? I'm in the building. I don't think I'm on my own, but it's creepy in here when it's just me. Don't like it. It's too dark out there and quiet. No one's hoovering. Salem! I don't know where this is. Salem, Massachusetts. I did a show of The Crucible, in which I played a child as, an, as a 21 year old. It's a real tall child. By Salem, Massachusetts. Um, Pete, me and Peter have already had the discussion, but yeah, everything's fine, I think. Salem together. A lovely, nice casual place to hang out. Evening jumpers and jumpettes. Hello, Bassett Snake. Welcome. I like that. It's the Salem Witch Museum. I'd like to go there once, but it kind of makes me feel bad that we're just kind of like hanging out in a place where loads of people die. Do you know what I mean? Wales! We're in Wales, guys. I'm locked in. I'm actually just sleeping here tonight. It's safer than... I, got, I walked home last, uh, last Monday after my stream at like quarter to eight or something i have to be honest it's a really creepy walk home and i don't really like it there's a bit where it's just pitch black in like a foresty area and i really really desperately need to find a different way home because that was freaky thought i might die thought i might die so 
But the paper did actually ask about Ben. It said, do you like Ben? No, obviously not. Where is Salem? I know it's in Massachusetts, Essex, but whereabouts? Well, it's not a full forest. It's just a kind of forest. A wooded area, if you will. Actually quite a lot of green space in Newcastle. There's quite a few parks around. Well, actually, no, you're right. There's a sheep, sheep pen near the office. That's exciting. I saw some sheep the other day. It was really exciting. Love sheep. Quite like the smell of sheep as well. That's weird, isn't it? But I like it. I like the smell of sheep. Well, Sheffield again. That's a different Sheffield, you know, gang. And it's not even the real Sheffield. Where is Salem? Uh, getting sad. Can't find it. I think I saw Salem on your map. It was above Boston. Uh, that would make sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's got a real lean in. Bedford, Chelmsford, all English towns. Oh, 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 Salem. Is it even in Massachusetts? It's not even in Massachusetts. It's in New Hampshire, wherever that place was. I wasn't looking. Um, mm, is it New, what's this town base? What's this base? New Hampshire, in Manchester. Stop copying our town name. Oh my God, guys, get your own. Salem Common. Where's that museum at? Um, where are we? Does it tell me the street name anywhere? Tour bus parking. No, it's not what we're looking for, but thanks anyway. I'm not even moved. Oh. Mm. Oh, I've entered some seeming glitch in the matrix there. It's a big green area. How long have I got? 33 seconds. God damn it. Maybe here? No. Might have gone to where's <laughs> I'm lost. Lost and confused. Where am I, man? No, there's no river here. I'm stressing out. I'm stressing out, man. way you've got another town called Salem 24 miles away you couldn't even think of something new 24 miles away from somewhere else next to Ipswich and Essex you couldn't even think of a different name for a town <laughs> fuming origin oh this is Alcatraz yeah that's where we are I reckon. I've done me thinking, and I reckon that's where we are. Ooh, I would not like to go here. I would actually quite like to go here in real life, but I'm too scared. Am I? No, I could probably do it. Alcatraz is near, uh, it's on an island, isn't it? Near New York? I think. I don't really know though, so. California, is it? Oh, it's West Coast. <laughs> oh. 
Let's see. San Francisco. I might be thinking of Rikers. To be honest, I might just be thinking of Spider-Man. Is it an island? It is, isn't it? San Francisco, okay. San Francisco is there. I'm cheating a bit, but I'm kind of alright with it. Uh... We're trying to find where Alcatraz is. That's what currently is going on. I kind of thought it'd be more obvious, you know? There'd be more of a like, this is where Alcatraz is, Ashton. Look here. And I'd have gone, oh, of course. Ah! Okay. So where about are we in Alcatraz? I don't think we need to get really close, you know? I'd quite like to visit Alcatraz once. Well, like is a strong word. I think I would... deal with it. I think we're like, maybe like here. Maybe like here. <laughs> How you all tell me San Francisco? And then when I get to San Francisco and I finally find Alcatraz, it's not even there. It's the place where I already, I was kind of hanging out in. How are you all going to tell me it's San Francisco? I didn't just make this up. Hold on, I need to turn the, uh, the heater off because I'm sweating. I'm angry. How are you all going to tell me for a good minute? That I was in, <laughs> I was in San Francisco. I said it's Alcatraz, and not one of you said, Ashton, it's not Alcatraz. You all just went with it. You all just said, yeah, Alcatraz is in San Francisco, actually, Ashton. <laughs> I'm fuming. <laughs> oh. I'm turning it off. I turn the heating off. I'm just going to take my hoodie off. I'm going to have to take my microphone off. Oh, well, it's only 10 more minutes. I'll just leave it on. <sighs> One guy said it wasn't Alcatraz, but I thought he was lying. <laughs> okay, look, the people did say maybe it wasn't Alcatraz, but some of you did, okay? And then there was more of you saying it was in San Francisco than there was. <laughs> it wasn't. And now I'm sad. <laughs> I got zero points. Harrison is clearly also Harrison and Dr. Mundy were also clearly in chat. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stephen, thank you so much for gifting a tier one sub to Jack. You've given 160 gift subs. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so angry. I'm fuming. <laughs> oh, right, one more. We'll do one more speed round. And we'll do the UK. I can't believe this. I feel so upset. Like, really actually quite upset. Ugh. Man. Oh. Oh. Hold on. I have to post it in this one. Boop. Um, it's not like my job is to teach US history or anything. Dr. Mundy, no! That's much worse for you than it is for me. Because my job is just to talk crap on the internet you know what I mean right come on we can do this oh, get in the bin this could be anywhere what a generic place to start <laughs> oh god do it <sighs> willow bank house if only I knew the codes for people's thingies. Nice area though, isn't it? No. No. <laughs> um, Hobby Love Bot, thank you for subscribing for 24 months. Happy two year anniversary. Oh my gosh, two years. What are we gonna do to celebrate? I think we should go out on the town. Do an escape room maybe, that'd be fun. Um, 
Try again, lol. 24 months, bebe. Bebe. Good for you. I'm proud of you. Thank you so much for hanging out. Rotherdale. Rotherdale. But is it just named after Rotherdale? It's not Alcatraz. Thank you. I'm glad you said that. Perhaps a tour of Alcatraz. Oh, we could do an escape room called Alcatraz. When I used to work in an escape room, it's not that far off, I don't know why I'm doing that. When I used to work in an escape room, I, um, there was one called Alcatraz. Maybe that's just why I got excited. I can't believe it's given me the most generic England to start with. What if you never escape? Uh, we just leave you in there forever and then your your skeletons get used to scare the next people that come with. It's probably isn't gonna be that much useful. Throckmorton, well that is a blooded southern name if I ever heard one. Throckmorton. Could it be near Rochdale? I don't even know what that is though. It's quite flat, so I'm thinking it's quite south to me, but like not south south, just kind of like Midlands south. I don't know where Rochdale is though. So it looks quite posh. I know it's posh because there's no, there's nothing around. You can't see anything. The bustling metropolis of Throckmorton. We all know where that is. I know it's a, it's an absolute hub. You know, when they say, oh, where where do you want to move to? You know, when you can afford to buy a house when you're 67 years old. Where do you want to move to? I'll say, oh, well, there's no better place to live than Throckmorton, you know? It's got everything going for it. Rolling fields, absolutely nothing else. That's it, just fields. It's like Southern, I wish I could explain. It's like Southern, but it's not like Southern. Like it's not actually in the South where, you know, there's hills, it's just South. Middle, South Middle, Middle South. It's a very, I think, I think English people know what I'm talking about. British people know what I'm talking about. What does it say? Evesham, Lower Moor, Pershaw, Tileford, Pinvin, Uptown Snodsbury. Uptown Snods Snodsbury. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Snodsbury. Evesham. Where's that? It sounds familiar to me. Is it near London? It might be. <laughs> Lincolnshire. Actually, I'm scared. Not after Alcatraz Gate. I'm sure it's fine. Snodsbury? Who's ever heard of a Snodsbury? Evesham is in Worcester. Mm. Worcestershire even. Or Worcestershire. <laughs> if we want to get serious about it. I mean, most British towns sound like fake names. I don't know where Worcester is. Or Worcestershire even. Oh, there it is. Um... Throckmorden. Anyone see what that is? Hereford, Kidderminster, Stratford upon Avon. That's where that's where um, Shakespeare was born. Oh, it's near Birmingham. Oh, Evesham. Okay, I was only six point seven miles away. Smash that bad boy in. See, look, it's South Middle. Like it's middle. It's South, but it's Middle. I live here, and I'm South. You know. And these are two, this is two south, it's just south, two south. If you're in Birmingham, the Midlands is like here, and then it's south. Everyone who, everyone who lives in England will tell you it, di it differently. But, um, that's south, that is. South of the middle. Oh, good. Another generic town. This one has a train line could be literally anywhere athol stores 
Do they carry... Perthshire. Perth. Scotland? Is Perth in Scotland? I think so. Might not be though, to be fair. What do I know? I thought it was Alcatraz when it, I don't even know where it was, but it wasn't Alcatraz. Actually, where even was that last one? What was that? Does anyone know? I don't know. You're an Athol. No, you are, Matt. You're an Athol. <laughs> New Cuffleton. I'm sorry, I did a burp. I'm really sorry. Peebies! This place is called Pee. Oh, it's called Pebbles. <laughs> I thought it was called Peebies. Sad. It's not called Peebies. What's even the point? Perth is in Australia. Uh, Australia, but this one's Scotland. This one is also, this one's Scotland. Pe Peebles, Fraser's Town. Is that where Fraser's from? <gasps> Fraser's from Peebles? Oh my God. Why has this never come up before? What a fantastic name for a place. Peebles. And he's never even mentioned it. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, he's never mentioned it to me anyway, you know. He's talked to other people more than me. <laughs> So I'm gonna get Fraser. Oh, Perth. Okay, Perthshire. Do we think the place is called Athol or do we. Athol? It does sound like I'm just saying asshole with an accent, but. Fraser's a posh. Fraser is a posh Scotsman, I think. It's hard to sound posh when you've got a Scottish accent, but I think he manages it. Scone or scone, depending on how you take your eggs. Lethem. Mm, Craig, Craig End. The end of Craig. Okay, let's look for some more clues because we don't necessarily know this place is called Ath. Oh. I think it might be called Athol. <laughs> I've done some thinking. I think it's called Athol. It's got a train line that goes through it, which makes me feel like we can follow this train along and we'll find it. Lunkarty FC. Yep. Thor's workshop. Sick. Okay, it might be this way. Ab 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 yep, that word. Uh, I'm just going to click here for now, just in case. Craig, Craig and Craigy, you wee craggy boy. I was gonna say the B word then, but I didn't. But why Athol is spooky Google? It's not spooky, this one's just the UK, which I guess, I mean, it's kind of spooky because I think everyone here is probably like Scottish Tories. <laughs> and that's scary, that is. This place is nice. Whose garden is this? Do you reckon it's Miss House? Kind of weird that it's just across the street, but you know, who am I to judge? Don't even have a garden. The B word, yeah, Billy. Billy was the B word. Oh, God damn it. A cul-de-sac. This is where I went before, isn't it? Yeah, we'll go this way this time. Hello, could you tell me more specifically where you are? Oh, we're going the same way again. How did I get turned around so easy? It's, it's like a talent of mine, I think. The Anthol Arms Hotel. So, I mean... Scone? An old scone. Scone's Lethendry. Scone, scone and scone. Yeah, that's what I was doing, but I kind of felt like I was going too far, you know? Okay, I was not going too far. It's Perth Shear. I was just looking around Perth, but I thought, oops, I appear to have opened Google. No, enough of this now. I didn't mean to do that. No! <laughs> God damn it. What's happened? What's happened? Why has it done this? Excuse me, if you don't mind. 
If you don't mind, we're trying to play a game here, not learn things. Okay. It's called Blair Athol as well. Close in Alcatraz. Okay, immediate thought. Where is it? Where is it? Immediate thought is Brighton, but I don't know if that's actually correct. It might be London. The Diplomat Hotel. This uh, is definitely London, actually. Ignore what I just said. Ignore everything I just said. This is London. Southwest. North, east, south, west. Okay, over here. SW1. Does that mean it's like quite close to the city centre? Oh, I don't know! Let's just play Google Maps. Let's just wander around Google Maps and see where we can end up, you know? Chess in place, SW1. City of Westminster. Well... What was that hotel called? The Diplomat Hotel. Ugh. So intense. What was this road called? Excuse me. You said we've parked your car in front of the sign. Lyle Street. Um... Uh, Okay. I've already forgotten the name of that other road, by the way, just in case anyone was wondering. Yeah, SW1 is like real close to the like city centre, which makes me think it's like around here somewhere. Because also this is all like the department of, you know, the Department of Doing Nothing. I'm bung it there for a sec. My belly's rumbling, gang, but I'm not hungry. I just think I'm just thinking about food. Pimlico Grocery. A pret a -mange. A pret a -mange, eh? If you don't, if you don't mind. Mmm. Eaton Place. That's definitely near Westminster, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? I mean, I feel like I could literally just like bung it there and it'd be alright. But I've got two minutes, you know what I mean? I could just use it. I could just use it, then it's a wrap. Does anyone remember what that street was called? <laughs> I can't remember. I wasn't necessarily talking about the Department of Education. There was quite a few departments around there. But um, for students, they don't do an awful lot. Okay. Hot take. Um, I am only joking, by the way. Kind of. What bus stop is this? Eaton Square. Okay, well, I don't know what that is. Is Eton in London? I mean, it must be. Let's be real with ourselves. Of course it is. Oh, Buckingham Palace. How did we get there? Didn't mean to get there. Westminster School Playground. Isn't Westminster School private school? Definitely. Eden is, Eden is with Pops. Yeah, we're not talking about Eden. Eton with a tur, silly. I know that that's not actually how you spell Eton, but because um, that's got an A in it, but I just was kind of thinking out loud. Thinking out loud by, what's his name? Ed Sheeran. For you there. Next up on, oh, no, that's not it. Just looking for some squares. Hello, sir, have you seen my squares? I'm looking for them. St. James's Park. I just think it must be in Westminster, where we are right now. 
I just, I just feel it in my, my gonads. But I'll be honest, my gonads haven't been particularly useful. Mm, let's bang it. Okay, we were only 1,700 yards away. Okay, we were actually really close. Google! Stop! <laughs> Stop trying to teach me things. I simply will not have it. Hello, Chris. Welcome in. Good night, Ricky. Sleep well. Church of England Secondary School. Good. It's a good start. Loads of those all over the place. That fancy school, this, isn't it? That fancy pants school. Get him. <laughs> we accidentally found a clue. Manchester. I've only ever been to Manchester once and I broke my leg, so I've not got much of a good uh, bearing of where anything is in Manchester, but we can probably figure it out. Manchester Science Park, part of the Oxford Road Corridor. Okay, got to find Oxford Road now. Great. Salford. It won't be near Salford because that's the media. I mean, it might be. What am I looking for? Manchester thingy, my bob. Just put it near the hospital. I mean, that is where I spent most of my time. At the MRI. The Manchester something something else. Infirmary. Royal Infirmary. Manchester Royal Infirmary. Science and Industry Museum. That's not what I'm looking for, is it? No, it's a science park. What's MSP stand for? What does MSP stand for? Where's, which way is the main entrance? This way. Okay, we'll go have a look for the main entrance. See if it tells me what MSP stands for. Where's MSP stand for? <laughs> Tell me right now. MSP, Manchester Science Park. Yeah, you guys are right. You guys are right. And I'm stupid. Of course it sounds like Manchester Science Park. Literally what it said. What an idiot. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Oh! Trinity High, this is where we were. This was where we started. Hold on. Trinity High... S this is what it's called, wasn't it? Trinity S High School. Church of England High School. We did it. We did it! So which side of it are we on? Sorry, there was a hair on me. People's entrance. Maybe we were on this side? Trinity Church... Oh, here it is. Higher Cambridge Street? Do we think this is where we are? Look for a street sign or something. Oh, this area is posh, isn't it? Oh, it's the Manchester. Oh, it's the university campus. That makes sense. Sixty-nine. Nice, Addy. Nice. What's this road called? There's not any street signs down this road. What's that about? Liberty Living, we've all seen those before. Okay, I think we're like here. 11 yards! Gotten! Emoji! Oh man. That's a big house. South. We're south. South or Midlands, because that house is massive. I'm not saying there's no big houses in the north, but... Oh, actually, what does that sign say? Oh, hello? Ah, uh, nothing of use. Sorry, it could be sorry, but I'm getting less sorry vibes now that I've left that big house. Apparently it's just that one big house. 
and then we're just sister scissors okay wouldn't have maybe gone with that name but at least it's not si oh I guess it's like scissor sisters I get it I get it like scissor sisters but the other way around I see haha <laughs> good what does the sign say London down the M2 well it's near London so I wasn't hugely wrong M2 where's that's the M1 that's the M3 that's the M4 M2 nope that's the M3 where's the M2 excuse me where's the M2 it's actually rude of you to not tell me where that is I've never heard of the M2 heard of the M1 and the M25 but I ain't never heard of an M2 it's an M2 I mean obviously it makes sense but still what's the other way what's over here this might help me it hasn't seafront interesting Interesting. There's the A2. M2! We found it. Rochester. Okay. We're in Kent, so go us. What does that say? Whitstable. Or Whitstable, even. So, M2. Rochester. We're looking for Whitsable. Thong! A place called Thong. Fun. M2. Wanderslade. Interesting name. Rotherham. Is that what it says? Rochester even. Made it up. This is near me. Richard, you got, a, you got an advantage then. And I'm proud of you for that. Dungate. I suppose it's not right on the M2, is it? Unless the M2 is also going on this way on the roundabout. It's a real lack of sign going this way, isn't there? Not really any signs there. What does this sign say? Golf club. <sighs> of course. Eccles, like the cake. How many golf clubs around here? There's one there, and there's a golf academy. Oh, it's definitely gotta be over here, isn't it? Mm, this is the A2 now. We'll go for Strood. Oh, I just got bored. <laughs> Chestfield. Okay, I should have should have got that, but I didn't. Okay. Trowling Badger, absolutely smashed it out of the park. Only losing three whole points. That's an achievement. I came sixth, which is an improvement from last time. So I'll take that. I'll take it to the bank. Well, it's dark in here now, isn't it? You can barely see me. I'm like an enigma. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for so long. You got an extra 15 minutes, you lucky kids, you. Um, it's been lovely to chat with you all, and I hope you've had a good stream. Um, we'll be back tomorrow to play. Ooh, don't know. Outlast. We're playing Outlast tomorrow. <laughs> um, so thanks for hanging out with me. I'm going to send you over to Ace Trainer Liam because we've not raided them before on our stream, or my stream anyway. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. It's always nice to chat with you lot. Um, I'm off to go home and try not to die. So um, have a wonderful evening, afternoon, sleep, whatever it is you're going to be doing for the rest of your day. Um, and what list came out? 10 worst games in 1999. You're welcome. Check that out if you want. But for now, I'm off. Deuces.